a beautiful little crossing here. I just lost one right here in front of me. Uh, I'm guessing it would have been about 60 centimeters. I might make my way back over in the middle there. Have a few more flicks. Some beautiful big seagulls getting around here. Snagged up. Where is he? There he is. Come in. Oh. That's caught up on these sticks here. Get him up these rapids. Come on. Oh. oh wow. Look at that. I'll get him across there. Oh look at that big sea eagle. He's waiting me to waiting for me to let me guard down look at that for a nice little fish <sighs> look at that bloke what a cracker oh run again Snag me. Come here. No, 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 no. I can't afford to let him in those logs there. Ah, it's hooked up on the log. He's got me snagged up on that log, that stick. I'm just gonna hope he swims off. Oh yeah, yeah he's off. Just gotta get him up. Oh wow. Look at that. Ooh. Another one. Oh, he's a bit bigger than the last one. That's a little beauty. What have you got? 64. 64 centimetres. So he's uh, 64 centimetres. Legal limit up here I think is 55, so he's well and truly legal. Look at this. The tiny freshy on the um, crossing here. It's only a couple of feet long. See how close we can get to him. You can tell it's a freshy by that long snout. Wow. Look at that. Look cool. There he goes. Here he is. 
these off. That's why it's trying these little obscure little spots here. There's all this open water here. We can cast out a long way and I caught him right here. Like in amongst all these trees in here. Trees and stuff here, look. Only a little fella. That's Look at that. Okay. You eat it? Nah, it's too small. Small? No? Too small. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Get this little bloke back in the water. Little rat. goes beautiful so this is the pond that they're going to smash them good spot isn't it yeah, yeah it is. Our bus. thanks mate see ya <laughs> oh that's cool that's how he washes his buggy good on him hey he's going Oh, all good, brother. Yeah. These local fellas here just just see me, and um, they've been out goose hunting. So they're going to do a couple of laps through this crossing here to wash their bikes off. So I'll uh, stand back up here and have a beer and let them do their thing. Again. Yeah. Here. Oh, he spat me. No. Bummer. Still got a scale on the hook. <laughs> Might have foul hooked him. Got me snake. Ah. That's not a bad size fish there. Whoa. I've just got to keep him out of them bushes. Whatever I do, don't go to those bushes there, brother. Where's he going? Some go, this fella. Got to keep him out in the open water here. He hasn't jumped yet. Oh, that is a good size. I still haven't seen him though. Wear him out a little bit. Turn a bit of silver. There we 
Oh, he's a lost fish. Oh yeah, look at that for a fish, what an absolute beauty. fish these are ripper I don't know what it is let's we're measuring here there we go sixty eight We've got 68 centimetres. Made that one all, it's well and truly sized, so it'll be good for dinner. Oh, man, it's such an adrenaline rush when those fellas hit mine, especially when they fight like that. And he felt 10 times bigger because of the current as well, but that was unreal. Me way down here and see how we go. It's a beautiful looking river. Look at this orange footed scrub fowl nest. It's huge. It's about a meter and a half high. These can actually get four and a half meters high and nine meters in diameter. And they build and then lay their eggs in there and the as it decays, it's all leaf litter and sand. So as, as all that decays, it uh, generates heat and incubates the eggs. And that's a big nest. It's not, as far as things go, it's not really that big compared to how big they can get, but that's a lot of, a lot of material for a bird the size of a chicken, roughly, to make. Have a look at it. What a beautiful river. I love places like this. Nice clean water. Easy to get through. Look at this plant here. It's a type of cycad from the cycad family called uh, Cycus armstrongi named after a German botanist I believe I think but they're beautiful plant I love them you see them a lot around this area they're endemic to this this area up here around Litchfield and Darwin yeah really really nice plant Here's a little culvert, a little bridge and culvert. I found this last time I was here. And last time I caught some barry here and there was crocs here, so hopefully we get the same again. They were hiding actually in the culverts last time, so we'll have a look, see if there's any in there. Eagle. There goes another one. Two of them.
Well, there's no crocs here this time. Not that I can see anyway. I'll have a bit of a flick here and see if there's any barrow around. First cast with a popper. Beautiful fish. How good's that? I just changed lure. I got my uh, gold bomber caught up in a tree. I put a popper on first cast. Got this little beauty. Got a tarp on. Yeah. Look at this. Another big bird's nest. It's crazy how much material they use for a nest. Little croc just took off out here. Just took off from here. I'd say it would have been a, a freshy. I couldn't see him. It's too hard to come through that bush quite, but you can see all the slides here. There's a lot. That's a fairly big croc actually. So it's a big freshy or there's a salty here. Let's see where he claws his way up the bank there. Sits up here. Up in here. There. And over there. It's that hot here. I found a nice, this stream's beautiful, the temperature's beautiful. I found a nice little shallow safe spot here where I can um, have, have a bit of a dip and cool off. So I'm going to chill here for 10 minutes and cool off. Went under the water here. There's a cock in this little bit of water. There he is. There he is. There is a little freshy there. So we bring it back this way. There 
Here's your other. Yeah, that's cool. Maybe a meter and a half. Let's see if I can get him to move. There he goes, he's backing up. Super fast when they take off. Here it goes. Yeah, that's cool. A cool animal. He's got to get on that water there. Well, that was pretty special. The little fella was in here. So he's got a little bit of a escape route up the back there. So while I wasn't looking, he's gone up over those bit of a falls into the next bit of a hole up there. So it's all muddy and stirred up now. I can't see him. So hopefully we picked him up on that um, camera so we get a look at him. Pretty cool though. Look at this here. A bowerbird's nest. The male bowerbird will build this collect all those snails to put there to try and attract a female such a cool nest eh? there's a type of these down south called the uh, satin bowerbird and they collect snails as well but all blue stuff and they put all blue stuff in there to, to um, attract the female and then once the female comes down the male will mate with her if she likes the nest I should lay the eggs in there. Pretty cool.